Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. I'm Ultima Mantoid, and uh, so we got this water bills, we need to do something with it. So, uh, we can't use the water bills, I was going to info the water bills. A bundle of brand new Chris bills. So, let's go talk to the owner of the Chaos Theater, see if we can't get a ticket to go watch him since we got all this money to blow. Runaway Five owe me a lot of money. They'll stay here until they pay me back. They might be here for a hundred years, unless you decide to pay off their debt. <laughs> well, obviously you aren't going to help me, so let's just talk to the Runaway Five and see if they'll let us in their show. Or let us backstage, because, you know, I think it'd be cool if we just went and watched them. You're with a girl today. You must be pretty popular. How about introducing her to my bandmate? He's right there. Sure. Hey, you came with Paula. Then you deserve a present, Playboy. Here's a backstage pass. You can get to our sh you can get into our shows with this. Sweet, we got a we got a ticket. Wow, we actually got a backstage pass for these guys. Cool. So let's uh, go ahead and get backstage. What the? F no. No. No, you, you take your cursed ass out of here. I don't know. Stop that. You put the camera away. No, I'm going to look away. I promise. I want to make a... No, I am not saying fuzzy... No, stop that. Why do you fly? Did... You are a photographer. You cannot fly. Get down from there. Okay, whatever. So let's take a look at the backstage pass. It allows you to go backstage at the Chaos Theater. Of course, you can also watch the show using the pass. Sweet. Hello, please present your ticket. Well, how about we use the ticket on her? Uh, they're just in time to see the Runaway 5 show. Cool. So are they like performing right now? Man, that floor's trippy. Get out of my way. I'm changing my clothes now. Don't come in. Young fan like you really gets into the Runaway Five's music. Wow, I'm impressed. They're like they're supposed to be the br the Blues Brothers, basically. <laughs> I'm tone deaf. My daughter brought me here. Fa la la me. Look, the Runaway Five told me I could go backstage, but I don't have a pass. I'm sure security will stop me. Hey, really? You have a pass? I can't believe it. Can you take me with you, please, please, please? I could pose as your sister. Yes? This rocks. Let's go. What? I, I didn't even agree to this. But hey! Quit dragging me! Fine. Jeez. Whatever. Hey, you get to see our show, you lucky kid. I hope you pay attention. I want some bread. I need the coinage. I want more dough all the time. Well, you do look like the bassist or something, so... I wrote the lyrics to most of the Runaway 5 songs. Money, that's what I want. Money, that's what is hot. Money, that's what I want. Money, it's what we ain't got except freedom. Freedom. Freedom is what we've really sought. Your lyrics could use some help. Shabba do wop dilly deep dash. Shabba dee doo bee boo ba wah. I got those debt blues. Mm hmm hmm. So this guy's like Bill Cosby. Zoop dab a deep dump zoop bow. If I had ten thousand dollars, I could pay off my debts and move on to the next town. I wonder if our bus still runs. Maybe rust that out. Wait, ten thousand dollars. Don't try to use your play money here, kid. Oh. My. Gosh. That's not real money, is it? Wow! Well, yeah, in the old days, there was a lot of dancers and acts in this theater. Except now, we're the only act playing here. We even gone into debt here, so we're pretty near stuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The folks in Tucson will enjoy the Runaway Five show for quite a few years. 
It looks like to me. I'm so excited. I might just wet myself. My heart is going pitter-patter. You do that. I'm not helping you clean it up. Hey, the show's starting. Everybody be quiet. Yeah, that's right. Tonight, you got the Chaos Theater Soul Men coming at you. Rockin' and rollin' live on this here stage for a limited time only. The world's greatest bluesmen, the Runaway Five. And here they come. Oh yeah, baby! Lucky I brought my own beverage. Runaway 5! That was an amazing show, guys. Okay, and then people suddenly appear. Well, then. Do you like baseball? Well, Ness does, so I guess so. I knew it. Your cap gave it away. Very observant. You kids are bouncing around talking to everyone. It's getting annoying. Well, excuse me, bitch. The Runaway 5 are so sexy. My husband definitely is in need of some help in that area. Oh, that was almost too much. Fangirls. The Runaway Five are going to be a world-famous band someday. Oh, I'm sure they will be. Hey, 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 don't get too close to me. I just farted. Heh <laughs> sorry. Oh, you gross little bastard. My boyfriend lost the ticket that I gave him. He's waiting outside the entrance. He's got butterfingers, but he's nice. Well, I'm glad that you don't mind. Well, well, I got a little kid here talking to me like he's an adult. I'll give you one thing. You got guts, kid. Um, actually, I do have guts. I have 16 of them. They seem too proud. I mean, they just filled up this little music hall, after all. You know, I think it's pretty tacky to entertain our company's business partner by talking to him. They're taking him to a Runaway 5 show. I hope I could read today. But since I'm new to the company, I better just toe the line. Hey, you kids. How'd you get tickets? What are you, the owner's kids or something? Nope. Chuck Testa. Actually, I came here because it's tough to get in, but I'm kind of disappointed. There are no good-looking waitresses, and there's no room for me to show off my latest dance moves. What do you think this is, a country club? I think we need to go pay Mr. Fat Lord here a uh, visit and give him this wad of bills. See if we can't help out the Runaway 5. I mean, we can't do anything with this wad of bills. It's inventory, not actual cash. Excuse me. What's that you got there? Let me take a real close look. How about we come to your face and show you? And, uh, you know, you could shut up long enough for me to show you. Thank you. Asswipe. Yipes! You surprised me. Now I'm not sure what to do. I've got the money, of course, and now the Runaway Five are free to leave. I've got no complaints now that I have my money. Well, what do you know? This little nipper took us from a nightmare to a dream. Ow! This means we can get out of this dump. I'm a good driver. Come on, I'll show you. Hey, free ride with famous people. Alright, let's move on to the next town. 
I'm sure our old hunk of junk will get us there. I didn't make a spectacle of myself, did I? Well, we just saved the Runaway Five. Let's go meet up with them. I mean, wait, they can't get to the next town, can they? There's ghosts in the way. We didn't clear those out. Let's go to Threed! Our tour bus is too loud for any ghosts to bother us. Do you want to ride? Abso-fucking-lutely. Oh yeah, let's go. Get on the bus. Okay, will do. Uh, how do I get into the bus? Oh, like that. Okay, guys, here we go. Hey, sidewalk, get out of my way. Now, sidewalk, what did we tell you about getting in people's ways? Especially the Runaway 5. It's the Runaway 5. I mean, would you want the Runaway 5 getting in your way, sidewalk? Some sidewalks have no respect for anybody. That is a pretty loud, uh, pretty loud bus, I would say. Or van, or whatever it is. The tour van. Uh-oh, the ghost is following you guys. Wait, it just ran off. But the ghosts... Whoa! This place, it's like night. What's going on here? They said something about... Oh, what was it that they said was, was going on here? Looks like we have to say goodbye for now. This town seems pretty gloomy, but I'm sure you can light up the place with your own little brand of sunshine. Thanks, uh... Didn't catch your name, man. Hope to see you again sometime. Look for us to be singing at some theater in Foreside. Foreside, huh? Well, here we are in Threed. Hmm. Trash can. Okay, just plain old garbage. Drugstore. Anything new we can buy here? Hello there, how may I help you? Anything upgrade? Ooh, minor league bat, thick fry pan. Um, so that's like... Excuse me, six hundred dollars. I need another hundred. Wait, no I don't. I can just buy and sell the weapons I've got right now. Alright, so buy. And it's not giving me the usual drugstore music, so... Minor League Bat, eh? Uh, Ness will carry it. Yes. That's a nice offensive increase. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and buy the Sandlot bat. Yep, you sure can. No, obviously you can't. We'll get another 30 out. 30, 40. Well, we have a little bit extra to call dad and stuff, so. And what I meant by um, Paula's weapons are in increments of 10, it's the power of the weapon. Not that they do increments of 10 damage, like 10, 10, 10. Uh, yes, I'm going to equip it here. See, 27 to 37. She would have 17 base offense if she did not have anything equipped. Yes, please. Uh, no. I believe that is it. Thank you. And let's see what the baker person, old white-headed person, 
refreshing herb, a toothpick, and a calorie stick. Calorie sticks are actually pretty damn handy. Uh, da, da, da. We'll buy a calorie stick just so I can show you what I mean. I need to go and take the backstage pass to um, Tracy. So we need to make two phone calls here. $195 into the bank account. And nobody cares about your experience to the next level. Paul is close, though. We'll go ahead and record, Dad. Oh, no, I don't want to end. Alright. Big bro! It's me, Tracy. Yes, I realize this. You told me that last time. We'll pick up... Cool. Hello there, random monster with a pumpkin on your head. How about I come to you? You confront the trick-or-treat kid. New enemy. Paul is actually dishing out some damage now. Spit its pumpkin seeds. 22 HP damage. That's not too bad. And Ness misses. But Paula hits him. Breaking the pumpkins on the kid's head. Well, look at that level up. This is almost like Halloween Town to an extent. Yeah, see, look at that. HP up by 1 and PP up by 5. Magnet Alpha. Yes. Magnet is like the best thing ever. This is Cargo Express. Your delivery charge at 18 bucks. Yes. Take the backstage pass. Because I don't think we'll need to go backstage at the Chaos Theater for a while. Go ahead and take the ruler. No. I don't know if the ruler does anything or not, but I'm going to look that up. Because if I need it for later on, then at least I'll have it. Help. Calorie stick. When eaten, you recover about 60 HP. That's a little bit less than the croissant, I think. Let me look. No, it's about the same. So, instead of the croissant, you just get the calorie stick. And we'll feed Ness a cookie. Use. Ness. Nom 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 cookie. Well, at least we know where a mock pizza is. Is it Dad? Yes! I was about to say, he's going to tell us we've been out here for a while. Yes, Dad! You tell me this every time. No, it's not a good idea. Dad, just... Thank you. How can you smile like that in a dangerous place like this? Oh! Is that one of the, um... That would be Handsome Tom. Now, there's a counterpart to him known as Smiling Sam. So... But I don't remember him too well. I remember Handsome Tom. But he's easy to beat. I don't know why it didn't just give me that victory. Yeah, I worked for the zombies. But I betrayed them, too. I'm a con man, so I know the score. Belch gives life to the zombies, but Belch works for Gygus, who I heard might be female. Well, I'm not really sure whether Gygus is a male or a female. I'm a helpful con man, don't you think? What? No. You just... No. No one's here now! Oh, well, that's convenient. I mean... I'm glad somebody was there to tell me that there's nobody there. I would have never known. I mean, that, that was really nice of them to tell me that there was no one there. Yeah, 
Oh, and the map works again. See? This is three. So, ghost. We'll touch up on the graveyard here shortly. Apparently, the circus is in town, so... This town seems very dark, right? The people are mostly living at the center of town. I wonder how we should get the town back from the zombies. I don't know. There's a rumor that there's an underground path at the edge of the graveyard that takes you somewhere. When you get through the path, you'll meet a dirty, stinky, ugly, powerful monster. I wet my pants just thinking about it. What? I'm so scared of the zombies, I spend all my time running from them. I can't even get home. Of course, because they're zombies. It's what you do, you run from them. Shh, don't talk too loud. Oh! What have you got for sale? Huh. Toy air gun, bombs, bottle rockets, and a rust promoter. You must be an arms dealer. A special arms dealer. I'll keep in, I'll uh, keep you in mind there. So it looks like you're wearing a jetpack or something on your back. Well, we don't need anything at the hospital. What can we buy at the bakery? We can get croissants, so... It's none of your business that we have a small house. Just keep all that whispering quiet out there. What? Ooh, a trash can. Skip sandwich. Sweet. That's right, there's a rumor that a monster called Belch is screwing up the town. Belch! That's a gross, twisty name even for a monster. Stuck on your couch. And yeah, that is an awkward name for a monster, Belch. Nobody's home. Hmm. I saw a beat-up tour bus going to Foresight. We can't go through the tunnel. The band was really noisy, so the ghost didn't approach the bus. It must be great to be so happy-go-lucky, huh? So we're stuck in three. Handsome Tom and its cohort. Uh, actually, let's take out Handsome Tom first. Holy jeez! Go Paula! Way to cream him with the fry pan. Spit out its pumpkin seeds. Yay for level 22! Oh, cool! Gaming beta! Fuck yeah! Let's see, I tried going in here already, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Oh, maybe not. I overheard the zombies whisper. Master Belch will give us our lives back. Master Belch is the zombie leader. He must be really pukey. Gives you that idea. Zombies and ghosts are on the loose here, so I can't get to two center four side. Maybe the hidden road in the graveyard is safe. There's a path in the graveyard? Hmm. Maybe we'll check that out. Hint shop realization. Teddy Bear! Steve the Fourth! Hello, Steve. We'll go in this house. Oh, hints. Never mind. That's right. That's what would be in uh, a building that says hints. I mean, don't need them. I'm a wimpy little guy, so I can't open the door. 
You know, it's scary. Um, I'm not gonna ask. You're awfully kind taking time out to talk to a mouse. This mouse loves you. No, I love you too. Hey, you don't look so happy. You better cheer up or you'll become a zombie. Some people have already become tools of the zombies. Ay! A zombie! I'm watching a zombie movie. Can you come by later? In here, I thought it was in your house. What's wrong with some people? Come on, handsome Tom. We'll take out handsome Tom again. Wow, that was a serious hit. Forty to the teddy bear. Holy crap. Add 78 HP of damage to the teddy bear. And he's going to destroy Steve the Fourth. Who is a pile of fluff? Farewell, Steve the Fourth. We had you for a whopping three minutes. Because my party members apparently can't hit the broad side of a barn. I'm gonna call this a video, I think, um, as soon as we check this house. I'm sorry, but I think you ought to leave now. I have no guarantee that you're not a zombie out looking for a lunch. Okay. Well, that, uh, looks like we're not going to get any headway with the people here in Threed, so... And it looks like we've actually talked to pretty much everyone already. I mean... Well, we could go rest at the hotel. Actually, I'd, yeah, that would be good. That way I can also change the, um... Oh, crap! Why did I try and run away? That was your opening attack? That was it? You know what? Fuck you. Extend your arm... Extend your middle finger. Very good. Well done. Since I'm going to the inn anyway, I may as well just burn psychic points to uh, obliterate people. Uh, gaming beta. And we'll do... Freeze beta on... Mm. Now, well, it doesn't matter, they're on different rows. We'll do Thunder Alpha and hope it hits. Now he's reeling. I would reel from that hit, too. Well, hello there, Mr. Zombie. I need the hotel. There it is. You a zombie? My mom told me no open the door, cause zombies are coming. You're a strange speaking one. I saw a suspicious woman talking with the zombies around here. Well, they did say that there are people that are helping the zombies, so... Let's go in to the inn, or the hotel, and rest. Uh, actually, how much is it gonna be a night? Welcome to the Three Sunset Hotel. One night stay will cost you 120 bucks. No. Uh, we'll go withdraw that amount out. Man. Apollo, why can't you have your dad send you money, too? This isn't fair. One twenty. Uh, no, don't go that way. <laughs> 
Sir, are you going out? The guests' newspaper that were delivered to the hotel today are different than normal. The paper is called the Zombie Herald. I'm scared, but let me tell you what's in it. Destroy the humans! Hold the town for our glory, and for the glory of our master. That's not good, guys. Did you just give up on the city or something? Be careful while walking around outside, especially near the graveyard. Okay, we'll do that. Thanks for the tip there. Alright, and we will call Dad, and we'll actually press end. Ness picked up the receiver. Ness, it's your dad. I deposited $415 in your bank account. Taking away what you spent, you should now have 2924 in the bank. Uh, wanted you to record. And, uh... I have created a record of your adventure to this point. Good night. Sleep tight. No, actually, we're going to continue. Because I forgot, for some reason, this game... Like, it doesn't want to make a proper save on my, uh emulator, so I... Huh, forget it. Yeah, we'll just continue. And we'll pick up from here. I'm Ultimate Mantoid, and this is Let's Play Earthbound. Till next time, take care, and have fun.